There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eluthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Zenith Research Lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eluthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the Zeniths still searching for the asset? Let's keep looking around. So, exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up.
place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. So? they were doing here well knowing far zenith probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit yeah that sounds about right Find this in my stash later. So, um, how is Aaron taking all of this, really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. 
But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. Huh. Wait, holding up? A control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. I can get it for my stash later. Those look like ectogenic chambers. There must be hundreds of them. Why would Farzenith need so many? I found some data that said they planned to take them into space, but they shut the project down. And later they traded some with Zero Dawn for a copy of the Apollo database. So these were extras? Yeah, maybe. Two hundred and thirty-six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Two hundred and thirty-six. Skins like ice.
Must have cut this from her head. But why? Still alive. We need to get her back to. Oh shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you, the other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl and the clone. Here it comes! Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? any weak spots. That thing's quick.
driving up. There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Erend. Erend, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. It is. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. Shields down! The second you need me. It's on the move! I'm there. You Bottoms up. Don't get that stuff on you. to hit this thing. Hey, Loy, can you hit this thing with acid? It's done. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenus won't be so invincible after all. The world always seems quieter when it snows.
This will be in my stash when I need it. No. Damn it. Well, it's better than nothing. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenith. I should check on the clone, too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Why don't you check the cache? Maybe you left it there when you dropped off all that ale. Oh. Hope it didn't get stained. Errand? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. What you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy yeah, reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed, I promise. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Aloy, you're back. Yeah, I'm just, uh, checking up on how everyone's doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru o Hephaestus are a whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Learn anything interesting lately? 
There's been much to read up on now that Ether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself. What? Nothing. You just look good. That's all. Where'd Catalo go? Looks like some of the holograms are working now. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful war map. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, but I must ask. The woman Varl and Aaron brought in, she's... related to you. It's hard to explain. Um... She's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. Maybe. You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. Getting Aether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove, and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. Well... Indeed. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman, going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway... The Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. I need to go. On your way, then.
Aloy. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of... sensory freefall. Everything real feels... unreal. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, hey, Loy. I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded, too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. So we're dealing with the same far people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? 
They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Xenus set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in a biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Venus dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, th the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. 
How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm going to die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well... See if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. You and Darren okay? Nothing some rest can't take care of. Are you okay? This beta thing, it's a lot, even for you. Just trying to take it one step at a time. Fair enough. But if you need anything, just let me know. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron, he was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap mall. Still, it's not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Make sure she's comfortable. Okay. we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. 
Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. Hi, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. How's Catalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can then. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... Not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And... Less pessimistic. It is true, she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. 
The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel. It used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn, Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world, an effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right, because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Aether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However... Climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley, until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. When we were at the facility where we found Beta, there were records that said Far Zenith were researching embryogenesis. I know they traded their ectogenic chambers to Zero Dawn, but why were they researching it in the first place? At this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, 
The facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. I'll keep a lookout. I should be going. Goodbye, Aloy. this there is something I'd like to discuss it's about the land gods if you have time that is you said you wanted to talk about the land gods I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain Gaia gave me a set of instructions she called it, a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I'll let you know when I get close to those Grimhorns. Good. If we can get their control cores, maybe we really can heal the land gods. That's the stuff. You have my attention. better head out. Be vigilant out there.
stash this away for later. Careful not to let this stain my hands. Power should help me pinpoint Silga's signal. Hey, stranger. Are you looking to trade? This is your opportunity to buy fine goods, Outlander. with the acrobatics. Outlander. The craft of a Tanakh awaits you here. <laughs>
I only stock the finest. Come back and see. You should see her spear in action. Gotta climb up to look for Silga's signal. But where to start? Oh, don't mind me. Just do a little climb. Keep climbing to pinpoint that signal. Just a little higher. Almost there. Okay, let's see if I can pick up Silga's signal. signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. My focus is picking up the signal that Silga found. I'll need to clear out the machines before I can look for the source.
Scared for that signal now. See if I can locate the source. There you are. Now, how to get to you? I should take a closer look. Getting in that way. I should search for another way in. It's promising.
right, into the water. There you are. Now, what's inside? She'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message. Good to see everyone's back to their usual selves. That should be helpful.
on to me. stash when I need it. I heard one random could hurt it. Aloy, the words stopped coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. That she'd be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat! To send messages near and far? 
Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. That turned out well. Can't wait to try it. Now, what secrets does this transmitter thing hold? I'll bet I can use it to put words of my own into the air. Maybe I can build a whole new rig with this transmitter. A lot smaller, and a lot stronger. With that relic you gave me, I'm pretty sure I can set up a spike that allows sending and receiving. Wouldn't that be something? Now, what secrets does this transmitter thing hold? I'll bet I can use it to put words of my own into the air.